Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to today's Bitcoin update for Monday, 18th of April. Okay, so uh, here we are and they actually underestimated the fact that we cannot do chart readings and this and that. Oh no, the charts doesn't work. You know, the, the, the haters who like to talk, they keep talking rubbish and they like to come in and say, Hey, Bitcoin is not, does it, it doesn't work with the chart, man. Yeah, Bitcoin it doesn't really work with the chart. Only Forex works with the chart. Um, damn, oh man, right now they might be kicking themselves in the gut before, because when you underestimate something, that thing underestimates you. Now, here we are. And let me actually play one video that I made for you yesterday because I just want to tell you before time, I was giving you a lot and a lot and a lot of warnings that we are about to do something really bad, okay? So here we are with the yesterday's video. Very simple uh, picture form to practical form is when you're going to the downside and the prices are compressing until the end of apex, when they are likely to break to the downside. Now keep one thing in mind though, this is Bitcoin, okay? It can still break to the upside, okay? And But but normal actually take you to the name from, which was this wave here, from this wave to that wave, this can break out and still take you down to 33,000, 34,000 region. Right, so uh, here we are, and there were several actually red flags that I saw with Bitcoin that actually led me to this point to tell you that I do see Bitcoin potentially having to go to the downside. Now the biggest reason of, of them all that actually made me uh, you know support the downside more than the uptrend is the fact that you lost this trend line Do you see when you lose a trend line like this? It's a very clear loss of a trend line now. Let me show you the line graph itself Okay, switch to the line graph a simple line graph. It tells you a lot of story Just look at this one touch right here Few touches there one touch here one touch here another touch here you went up broke out of it went for the retest look at it got rejected clear freaking rejection right here right over here what else do you need guys what else what kind of it doesn't take a rocket science to understand that you lost support and you back tested and fail a particular support ladies and gents from wherever you are if you're listening to this hello okay so you broke out of it and the only meaningful uh, you know, price level that you're gonna dump to is from where you came from. You came from this particular area, you came to this area, you take the measurement, and wherever you're breaking out, you go down. Because why? The question is why if you're new to the channel. These are known as bearish continuation pattern. I actually teach this in my trading course. It's in detail, like huge, huge, all the details, okay? 18 hours of content isn't just, and if you want to enjoy this one like Netflix, you can t check out this course. Everything is in the course, guys. So uh, pay 29 bucks with joining the Discord and message me on the Discord to pay with cryptocurrency for $20 off, okay? Now here we are on the auto draw. I just want to tell you how it is. So uh, the the symmetrical triangles are something like this. This is a symmetrical triangle, right? So you do have a bearish symmetrical triangle. And that means that when the prices are in the market moving down rapidly to the downside, and then you start to push to the upside like this, and then you find resistance, and then you come to the downside, right? To find support right over here then you go up the second resistance is lower than the first resistance and the second support is a little bit higher than the first one and then the price go like this this makes a triangle known as a symmetrical triangle and they actually when they break towards the downside back test and fail they take you from where you came from this height this height becomes your next technical target from there to there that's how much you're gonna drop nothing much nothing more than this and this was a very simple trading trading that you can already see was available to you on the four hour time frame a lot of people didn't care about symmetrical triangles look at this one very beautiful one right so the market was ranging down you went up you came down you went up came down coiled up in it break out of it and you're looking to actually continue with the downtrend so uh what's the the real technical target seems like thirty three thousand eight hundred dollars from here at this point of time but what can you where where can you further go 
okay i just want to place down the fib retracement can you actually continue to dump to the 30k lower 30ks or whatnot so i'm going to take the top here to the bottom right over there and that actually takes you to the uh 34,112. but it will make more sense to me that you actually come to the 32,466, and there's a reason for that the reason is because uh you are feeling the golden ratio uh, as a matter of fact do you notice one thing um, I'm gonna zoom in here I just want you to see this clearly for yourself so when you are coming down impulsively like this you are supposed to come down to hold the 40 41,377 and that was also the trend line okay that was also the support right over here this this moving support 41,377 so you broke below the support to 39,725 at the 0 0.786 you hold this support a little bit but the problem is you failed you broke the golden ratio and when you break the golden ratio you always always almost uh, go down to the 1.618 to the 32,466 right because you broke out of it look at this one right you broke out of it went to the 0 0.618 rejected at the 0 0.618 look fibs fib fib trading right over here you came down you're losing the 786 you might make a little bit of a pull to the upside for the retest of 39,725 get rejected boom have a free fall all the way down to, to maybe 32,000 but uh, th this actually symmetrical triangle does take you down over here but I do expect the best price where Bitcoin really is gonna reach is somewhere near 36 36 is something that I believe Bitcoin is gonna do but nonetheless uh, we're gonna see how it turns out we could even go to the lowest 32,466 bottom out here and then start to move to the upside once again so that's it for today's Bitcoin update hope you enjoyed the update and uh, hope you are gonna follow this channel and keep an eye on it and uh, do check out the trading course I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy every single thing about the course explained in details from uh, you know trading site I mean just just read all this for yourself play this video come to the link play the video and listen what you're about to get into and uh, that's it for today's update I'm gonna see you in the next one I love this